Hey everyone, Wolflord Bro here. Before I begin today, a big thank you to Acer for the virtual gift voucher. Thank you very much, my friend. I really appreciate it. But on to today. Today we're taking a look at the Lord Commander himself, Rebute Gilliman, Primarch of the Ultramarines. And we're asking the question, is he becoming too human? General spoiler warning to begin, I will be discussing events from across the lore and the short story The God's Son in the latest White Dwarf. So you have been warned. But with that said, let's just jump straight in. Okay, so if you're a subscriber to this channel, you will know by now of my opinion that the humanity of the Primarchs has always been their greatest strength and their weakness. As elevated gods of war that they are, they remain human. They have been created as tools of war from the very genes up, but that core of humanity remains inside them. Now, as usual, I grabbed the latest white dwarf when I was out doing the food shop and I stumbled across a short story inside named The God's Son by ADB. And it is a very short story, literally a two minute read. But what it does is give us another peek into the mind of the Primarch of the Ultramarines since his return to the current Imperium. And it was in reading this and when I got to a very specific line that made me pause and ask myself, is Gilliman becoming too human, either in character or the portrayal of him? So it's really a two avenue discussion, the in the law story perspective and the real world character direction. But if we begin with the Horus Heresy series, this series has allowed us to see the man behind the myth of Rebute Gilliman. Previously the Primarch who was portrayed as the one who rode to the rescue of the Imperium on its knees and single handedly drove the traitors into the eye of terror. But thanks to the Black Library Heresy series, we've been able to see behind this shielded legend and into the man that Gilliman was. And while he was a confident, strong-willed character, he was also a man who had doubts and misgivings like anyone. I honestly think that the Heresy series has helped Gilliman's character as much as any Primarch. Throughout it all, he has remained defiant and dedicated to his father's dream for the Imperium. Whether you agree with his reasonings for the Imperium Secundus or not, it was done with the best intentions of the Imperium at heart, to keep that dream alive. He was fully aware what founding it would mean if the Emperor still lived, but he did it because he knew it to be the right thing to do even taking that argument up with the Lion and Sanguinius, two of the most respected Primarchs out there. Gilliman's dedication to the vision of the Imperium was absolute. Overall, I think it's safe to say, from an in-law perception and outside character direction perception, the Heresy series has given us a strong-minded, focused, confident Rebute Gilliman who while absolutely emotional as the rest of his brothers and susceptible to anger and doubts as all of them, has the strength of character to channel it and remain focused on the task at hand. Then of course, we have the Gilliman who has returned to the current timeline, who has become devastated and disillusioned by what he has found. How far the Imperium has fallen since the days of the Great Crusade, by the lack of humanity left within the Emperor. And I have absolutely no problem with this. In fact, I think it's a very true and realistic approach to how any of the loyal Primarchs would have felt upon their return. Especially with the lack of humanity from the Emperor. You know my opinion by now, the Emperor, while flawed no doubt, was definitely a father to the Primarchs. So getting to Terra and seeing him once he'd awoken was the buoyancy aid that Gilliman needed to make sense of all the disappointment and chaos around him. Then not getting the father he remembered would have absolutely hurt and crushed any son, even a Primarch. 
it could well be said that Gilliman could be suffering from some form of post-traumatic stress disorder. He's died at the hands of his brother, only to awaken to an empire fallen far from the ideals he remembered and the vision that was intended for it. And the only beings he could truly talk to, his brothers, are all long gone. He's alone in a galaxy with all hope placed on his shoulders. The Primarch Rebute Gilliman is more human now than he's ever been, and rightly so. However, as I said at the start, is it starting to become too much? Are we forgetting that he's still a Primarch? When the Emperor was interred on the Golden Throne, he never spoke again and throughout the scouring, Gilliman remained focused and dedicated as Lord Commander. Even in the moments of his death, worrying about who would lead the Imperium now. That his brothers and the Imperium needed him to be in control, to take command. And that's a key point for the character of Rebute Gilliman, in my mind at least, is that he knows his strengths and his weaknesses. And most importantly, his role. Sure, his dad wasn't warm and loving on his return. However, and this is a very key point here, the Emperor did speak to him. For the first time in 10,000 years, Gilliman was given the direction he needed. Now, of course, I'm inferring that, but that's from the few words we have been given, from Gilliman's own thoughts in Dark Imperium, that the Emperor referred to him like a tool but feeling like a tool heavily implies to me that he was just told what to do. So he's been given direction. And this is further backed up in Plague War when it's referenced by Mortarion and the Greater Demon that the Emperor is smoothing the warp in front of Gilliman's fleet. So despite the apparent lack of emotion, Gilliman and the Emperor are clearly very much on board of what needs to be done. And I'm a big fan of Guy Haley's Dark Imperium and Plague War novels, because while we do get a troubled Gilliman, he's still focusing on the task at hand, as the Gilliman we have come to expect. The leader of the Imperium, and the only hope it has of regaining the front footing. He knows his role and what is required of him to save the Imperium. And that is all he is dedicated to. However, this latest story in The White Dwarf felt a bit too human. As he sits aboard his flagship preparing to cross the rift, in remembering his speech to launch the Indomitus Crusade, we get this line. How those words already taste like ash on his tongue. And then, the Imperium is hemorrhaging. Soon it will die, as half of it has already died. No longer is it enough to fight and hold on to the crumbling remains. The only hope, razor thin as it is, is to attack. Now sure, attack, absolutely. But the rest just doesn't strike me as a Primarch, let alone Rebute Gilliman. The Primarch who is all about his role and duty. Who founded an Imperium Secundus on the ideals of the Imperium when he thought terror had fallen and the Emperor was dead. For all his pain and doubts, I don't believe for one second any Primarch would give in like this, even in their own private faults. Can you see the Khan, Rus or Dawn just forsaking half of the Imperium no matter what the situation and expecting the rest of it to follow? They wouldn't think like that and neither should Gilliman. It also makes little sense compared to his words when speaking with Dante after the devastation of Baal, when appointing him warden of this so-called dead half of the Imperium. Gilliman is all about needing a hero such as Dante, as a light amidst the turmoil, and he literally rebuilds the entire Blood Angels chapter. That's not the act of someone who already thinks half the Imperium is dead, then we get this line in the story. Gilliman will never admit this, but he sometimes struggles to immediately understand what his descendants are saying. Language shifts over time, 
evolving and devolving. Now, I mean, really, we're talking about a Primarch here. Not just that, but one of the smartest Primarchs who can assimilate thousands upon thousands of reports and information in single seconds, in the heat of battle. You're telling me that he can't learn all the variations of Gothic to understand his sons? Russ learned fluent Gothic in five days. That was the moment to me this became a human story and not a Primarch one. Whereas to me, the brilliance of the Primarch stories have always been Primarchs and how their humanity still affects them. Hopefully this is just a case of a different author giving his take and not the rabbit hole Gilliman's going down, because it certainly feels out of character to me. But sometimes we get these differences when different authors take on different characters. But either way, it's definitely opened up some good discussion. What do you guys think? Is Gilliman remaining true to how you perceive him? Do you think he would truly believe half the Imperium is dead and the rest is soon to follow? Is his character becoming more human than Primarch? Are we forgetting the Primarch that he was, or still is, and that perhaps still should be? Is the human aspect of his character taking precedence over the Primarch aspect? for the sake of storytelling. As always, drop your thoughts in the comments below. I love to read them. A huge thank you to all my subscribers. Your support really means a lot to me. It truly does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And if you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. But with that said, I am off and I'll see you all again real soon.